I love that. I interviewed uh, Larry Kerwin. Black Larry's 47. a great friend. Isn't he? He's. But, you know, and then I think of, you know, you two. And what is it about you people from Ireland who that went through everything you went through and decided that you wanted to celebrate life? I mean, why? I mean, is it because Americans have just sort of been middle class all their lives and we haven't really truly struggled? Or because it really is amazing. Because, I mean, honestly, Larry was intensely passionate, mm. you know? Larry's a very passionate man. Um, just talked to him last week, actually. Um, yeah. He was playing in Wexford, where me and Bridget live in Ireland. Oh, really? He's from Wexford. In mm. Ireland. And unfortunately, like, he's probably playing there right now as we <laughs> speak. As we speak. Yeah, Larry, Larry's a great writer. Um, you speak, you, you know, you talk about people like Bono. I remember, like, years ago, like, Bono, I, I think, um, I was in the studio, and um, I was doing an album, a, a, a soundtrack for a movie, and I was very, very unhappy with it. It it was the least. I mean, you would not think it was the same person if you read the lyrics of this thing and read the lyrics of what I write now. You would not think it was the same person. And Bono came in and said, "I'd love to hear some of your stuff." And I was like, "Honestly, Bono, it's it, I'm leaving the band because of this. You know, it's it's really really bad." Yeah. And I knew it. And he came in and he played. Um, so she woke up on the piano for me. Hmm. He says, I wrote this song and he played it. And I was like, you know what? This is, uh, I've got to make a, a decision here. And I, I left the band and, and, and I moved to uh, Los Angeles. Because I, I think the thing was, I was tired of trying to make other people happy, you know? Yeah. Uh, and the important thing is to make yourself, you, you have to look in the mirror and you've got to, like, you, you've got to, you've got to face your demons. You know, and and actually, the first song I ever wrote with that in mind was "Selfish Man." So, mm. um, you know, but yeah, I I think, but it's also with a sense of humor. I mean, you 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 you've got you've got to write. There always has to be that. And if you read Joyce or Yeats or or you know even Beckett, I mean, it, it, the, the words are intensely painful, but there's a sting of humor as well. You know.